as the girl said, we're going to wing it. And here we are <laughs> on Polk Place. <laughs> it's the Polk County Bully Project in the house. And and uh, Hopper, Ooh, Hopper, Hopper's in. How are you doing, Hopper? What you doing, Hopper? Hopper, Hopper. <laughs> <laughs> so, ladies, how are you doing? Good. Good. We've been uh, extremely busy. Extremely? Extremely busy. I, I, I think extremely is light. <laughs> yes, it is. It is. It is. It is raining dogs. Yeah. Yes, we can verify that. So uh, let's start off with Hopper. Tell me a little bit about Hopper and, and what uh, what brings him because he's kind of a pointer breed. Yes, we... Um, we don't discriminate. <laughs> <laughs> we do not. No, we don't. <laughs> no. no. Um, Hopper came into Polk County Animal Control with uh, another dog, another Pointer Mix, and she was actually pregnant at the time, and um, so she has, she actually lost her babies, very yeah. sad, but um, she was, we uh, pulled them both, and she was adopted out immediately, and we have Hopper, uh, and he's fabulous, I mean, he's great with uh, all humans, all dogs, he, re he can retrieve, he knows basic commands. And the beautiful thing boy. about it, if you've got a lot of land, that's your boy. That's your boy. <laughs> I mean, I mean, he's smart, smart boy. So here's what we're talking. We got new digs. We, yes. We got a new facility. We do. Uh, talk to me about humble beginnings, and now, um, yeah, we out off South Florida. You guys. We are right around the corner from the SPCA, SPCA Florida, right yeah. there. Um, so we, you know, we started this whole project just. Foster based, yeah. one dog at a time. We went to a small office where we would keep one or two dogs. We took over the office beside it where we would take six to eight dogs. And then we grew to 35 to 40 dogs. And um, we left the, we were over by Parkway Emergency and now we have a warehouse and a small building and we have about 80 dogs on campus. Wow. So um, we have 175 in the rescue right now. You guys are volunteer based, although you guys co-founded it, yeah. there are people that are giving of their time, of their energy and in their resources to come in and help day-to-day -day operations. Yes. But day-to-day -day operations is taking care of those dogs. And, and when the phone rings, sometimes... We don't have... You can't hear <laughs> it. We can't get to it. We can't get to it. Yeah. <laughs> so if you're calling the Bully Project, what should you do? Uh, if you're trying to get in touch with us, the best thing to do is to email us um, because we have a couple people who can answer the email. <coughs> Our Facebook Messenger, we have a couple people who will answer, answer that as well because just calling, um, I think that in a given day we could get probably 50 calls, um, a lot of owner surrenders, a lot of people needing help, and multiply that by uh, inquiries through our website. Um, text messages, emails, messenger on Facebook, messenger on Instagram. We uh, are inundated. People also uh, just come come to our property. Yes. So they, yeah. they come with their dogs and need to surrender them. Or they found a, the dog. Yeah. So. Yeah. So we are um, we grew exponentially quickly just from the need of the community to have. The bully project. Yeah, exactly. So when we started this, we didn't really realize that we were going to get, <laughs> um, you know, it, toe dragged it, into it, yeah. and, and here we are. I'm going to go with a, a much nicer word: inundated. inundated. <laughs> yes. Um, but you know, we we try to help with strays, but our main focus is animal control. In fact, the statistics from last year: we pulled half of the dogs that came out of Polk County Animal Control. Wow. So. We, and, and like um, you said, you don't discriminate. We don't yeah, discriminate. We, we pull we chihuahuas. We pull uh, pointer mixes. Whoever's on the rescue list, whoever needs to make it out. Um, so, just from the, I mean, we did um, this week, not this week, but this month of April so far, we're at about 74 intakes. Yeah. And that's a lot. That's a lot of dogs. Um, We've helped out. There was a group of dogs that were living in an abandoned house that had burned down. Yeah. So we uh, took in five adults and six puppies that were just days old um, that we had to get bottle fed. So 
that was an event. That was a Sunday Sunday fun day. Um, <laughs> I get a feeling your Sunday fun days. Our day Sunday fun days are not <laughs> fun. That's They're too much fun. <laughs> oh, I was like, here we go Sunday. But I want you to talk about. I, you send the girls in occasionally that that do events yes. for you. I, they do incredible work. I've been to one event out at Harley. Uh huh. And yes, that was that amazing. That is crazy. Talk to me about the volunteers and the businesses. They're helping you guys. A, get your message out, and B, raise money. Yeah. Um, couldn't do it without them. No, we couldn't do it without them. We had um, one of our followers volunt um, donate their Harley. So we had a Harley raffle. So we were able to, uh, I think we got about. $6,800 wow. um, from raffle funds to pay down our vet bills because this whole, we're not county funded. Yeah. We are all donation funded. Yep. Um, we do have some grants here and there, but it really is the donations of the community that keep the Bully Project going and the volunteers that help us out at events. And um, we have a wonderful volunteer event staff. And if anybody wants to get involved with volunteer, like there are so many aspects to volunteering with us. Um, that you can do. It's not just um, coming to the facility. Coming to yeah. the facility to walk yeah. dogs. It's events. Um, people do their own mini fundraisers. Mm -hmm. um, we've do, you know donations from of supplies. People will do their own donating drives. Kids kids will bake treats for the dogs mm -hmm. at home if they you know for service hours for school. They'll make toys for them uh, you know out of like old clothes and things to, uh, full toys. And we can give them service hours. So um, there's there's all all kinds of ways to volunteer with us, and we need and it all. And speaking of events, you guys got something coming up too. Yes. Tell me a little bit about that. We're having an open play yard and adoption event, and um, we're calling it Burgers with Bullies because and we're going to have a food truck there, and burgers, and um, we'll have vendors there, and thing, and we'll have. Uh, our PCBB gear, like our t-shirts. and uh, That is the greatest t-shirt ever. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> and um, and we'll have dogs to meet. So yeah. on that day, uh, we'll pull dogs out for people to meet. And we don't just do that normally. Yeah. Uh, but if you want to adopt a dog, you have to have an approved application okay. first. And you can adopt that day, or you can fill one out that day and mm -hmm. you know come back possibly the next day after we process it. And part of the event is um, the food truck that's there. It's the Burgers and Bullies. Is uh, You can buy a burger for one of the shelter dogs. Yeah. You don't, you know, like get a burger for you and get a burger for the shelter dogs. Because we do a lot of... Um, I don't know if anybody's ever seen it, where we do burgers for everyone in the facility. Yeah. So, you know, we usually drive up to Wendy's and ask for yeah. 70, <laughs> 70 <laughs> hamburgers. And now we that's need 80 burgers. Is that something you do on an app or do you call no, in? No, actually, it's my favorite thing. I take a dog with me and I pull up and I say this, I'd like to order 70 junior cheeseburgers plain. And, and they then, say, can you go pull and in space one? Like, did, you say, did you say 70, you say 70? cheeseburgers? And I said, yes. And they're always like, you need to go and sit on the side. I was like, I know, I know. You yeah. don't have he a, heard you when you said 70. <laughs> and, and everybody says, is it a soccer team? Is it a football team? And I was like, it's a dog rescue. <laughs> but I do know you can order them ahead because we had somebody that adopted from us. Um, ordered them ahead and brought them for all, our, for all of our dogs as well. So that well, was listen, nice. We got just a few seconds left. Let's go ahead and get information on how we can get him a home. Okay. So uh, just fill out an application. We have them online. Um, at Bully Project. Okay. Um, Polk County Bully Project dot org. Okay. And his name is Hopper, and he is a he, pointer mix a right a pointer mix he's about 2 years old he's great with all humans all dogs children everything he has energy he's you know he's a sporting breed girls always a pleasure I mean, would you please come back and see me yes, i mean a lot i always bring puppies <laughs> We can bring puppies sometimes. Exactly. Just we'll bring a room full of puppies. That. Yes. <laughs> All right. Well, come back and see me again, will you please? Absolutely. Thank right. you for having us. <laughs> the Polk County Bully Project is a foster-based nonprofit 501c3 rescue organization that works to find forever homes for this misunderstood breed and others. For more information on their efforts and how you can help out, look them up on the web at Polk County Bully Project dot org.